You can use an array formula to perform calculations on all the items in an array, such as on each cell in a row or column. For example, let's say you wanted to calculate how many days of work had been completed for several tasks. One easy way to do this would be to add a column to calculate the days required for each task, multiplied by the tasks percent complete. Then you could sum up all of these cells for a grand total. Instead of entering a unique formula in each cell, you could instead use a multi-cell array formula. A multi-cell array formula outputs more than one value, so you first select the cells that will be used to display the results. Then you'll type in the formula, which will multiply the cells in the days column by the cells in the percent complete column. When you are done, instead of pushing enter, you will hold down control, shift, and enter at the same time. This tells Excel that this is an array formula, and it displays curly brackets in the formula bar. That is a multi-cell array formula because the output appears in multiple cells. You can also create a single cell array formula where the output is in only one cell. The non-array version of a single cell formula is to find the grand total of days complete by multiplying each task's days by its percent complete and summing them together all in one formula. An array formula makes this equation much easier to read and much less prone to mistakes. You simply write an array formula that sums up the product of days times percent complete. Again, you'll hold Control, Shift, and Enter at the same time to complete the formula. Some of the most popular uses for array formulas involve the IF function. Let's look at one of these applications. For this example, you have a list of sales made by different contacts, and you're looking for the largest sale that each person has made. You can do this with an array formula that uses both an IF and a max. The if looks at all the contacts to see which are the salesperson that you specify, and the max finds the largest of those sales. You can use the evaluate formula feature to see the calculations of an array formula one step at a time. The if statement evaluates each of the cells in the contact column to determine whether or not each name equals Jim. These results are stored in a temporary array of true and false values. For all the true items and for only the true items, it returns the corresponding value from the sale column. This creates a temporary array of only the sales made by Jim. The max formula then finds the maximum sale from this subset, and that is the result of the formula. As you can see, there's a lot of power that comes with performing calculations on each cell in an array. You can use array formulas to perform much more complex logic and calculations. Take a look at the article on vertex42.com to learn these other methods.